I've hit a weight loss milestone. I've lost 10 pounds and I will show you guys what I look like now. Good afternoon, Mountain Family. I'm starting this vlog a little bit late because it took me forever, forever to upload today's vlog. So, <laughs> starting this one a little bit late. So we've already had breakfast and the girls are just kind of hanging out. Um, but I got something really cool to show you. Please ignore the dishes that I have in the disher, uh, disher, <laughs> in the sink. Uh, I just have that little bit. I just didn't get to it last night because I got really tired. So I just said I'll do it today and I will. So. Please ignore that. But look what Devin got me. It's not one of those super expensive ones from Best Buy that are like the cost of a camera. Like, you know, upwards of $500. But it's still a drone. And it still has a camera on it. If you guys can see the camera right there. And it's going to take this sucker about 150 minutes. What is that? About two and a half-ish. Somewhere in, in there. Hours. Something like that. Yeah. Anyway. Something like that. Um, it's going to take about that long to charge, and then I'm going to test this sucker out today. It looks like it's sunny outside. It's really not. Uh, it's really cold. It's like, the high is going to be 60 today, which, you know, stinks. Because it's May. It needs to act like it's May, <laughs> and not like it's March. But anyway, so I'm going to fly this today in the house, just to see, like, how it works, and how the camera is, and what it looks like, because if it's not... If it's not very good, then we're going to take it back, even though we got it super cheap. Like, this was on clearance, half off, and we got this sucker super cheap. So, I'm kind of hoping it works. Please work, please work. But, uh, I can't wait to try it out. I'm so excited. What? Backpack? That's a good job. That is a backpack. I've got my pho broth over here it's just cooking away and oh my gosh you guys it smells amazing i looked up several recipes online on how exactly to make this what baby it is a backpack yes thank you for telling me backpack i love you too honey anyway i looked up several recipes on exactly how to make this and i just like kind of tried to make my own i don't know how well i'm doing but i've got some garlic in here green onion um, the star anise, the anise seeds, not the actual star anise, but the anise seeds that I did find. Cinnamon sticks. Um, what else? Did I say green onion? Okay, in case I didn't. Green onion. This is vegetable broth. Huh? Yes, baby, that is a backpack. Anyway, this is supposed to simmer for like hours. Oh, oh, there's ginger. Yes, I have ginger in there. Like a whole four inch thing of ginger. Anyway, this is supposed to simmer for like hours. Yes, I know. Backpack. You've told me like four times now. <laughs> but yeah, trust me, I know that it's a backpack, baby. Yeah, I know. So, I'm really hoping that it tastes okay. It smells amazing. Yes, I know. And Carly wants to go water our flowers. You want to water our flowers? You want to water our flowers? No, it's not actually bleach water. It's just water. What's on your face? Oh, please don't do that. Please stop putting stickers near your mouth. Okay, I don't know. That really, like, bothers me. You can. You want to go put, you want to go water the flowers? You want to water the flowers? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's too much in one. That's too much in one. Here. Mine. Over here. Over here. And over here. You give up? Right there. Oh, please don't. Don't swat at that. Tree. Tree. Do you want to do it? Do this one. Do that one. Or, you know. Or wherever. Okay, okay. That's too much in one spot, baby. Did you have fun planting the flowers? We planted, planted. We watered our spinach and our lettuce and our herbs. Let's stay in here. Our kitchen is a kitchen. Our living room is getting painted today. Absolutely getting painted today. We've been um, wanting to get it done for the past like two days, and we just got busy doing other things like grocery shopping. 
so it's getting done today. Girls, I have a special surprise for you. You guys got a box in the mail. You want to open it? The girls' Bumble Brain box came in the mail like last week, and I was going to wait and um, do a video on it so you guys could see what's in this one, but the girls are like really excited to play with it. So I think instead, look. <laughs> Are you excited? Yes, I did. Okay, now there is one thing in there that I have to grab. No, I'm going to get this. I'm going to get this. Because this is mommy's right here. This is lavender um, essential oils. It's essential. Hey, yeah. Lavender essential oils. So that is basically mommy. <laughs> I really want to um, diffuse this. I need to get a diffuser. What? Really bad. What'd you get? A book. A book? What else did you get? Oh, it's empty. Look at that. You're fast. What else did you get? Baby. Yeah. Carly, what else did you get? What's all that? Where's Kenley? Kenley! Your kid. Look! Look! Give it to Kenley? You trying to give it to her? Oh, you and that teeth gritting. Woo, girl! You're killing me. Killing me. Baby cry? The baby's crying. Where? Your baby crying. Oh. Does he look upset? What you got, Kenley? What is it? I think it's a bear. Is it a bear? Do you like the way it feels? She's giving it to me and backing away like, no. I don't like the feel of it. What about that? Look, Kenley, look. Look, hey. Look, look, at, look at that. You like the bug? A bug. Bug. Yeah. Cookies. Oh, can you share, please? Can you share, please? Sissy was gonna play with that. Can you give it back, please? Carly, give it back, please. Can you give this back, please? Cause she was having that. Carly, let me have it, please. Let me have it, please. Sissy was going to play with that. Okay. You took it from her. There. There you go, Kenley. <laughs> Andy was over there this morning while I made breakfast and everything, but then she got sleepy, so she's Ray upstairs bug. sleeping in her bassinet. Look, eat. Bug. The bug? You like that? That's awesome. I still love these boxes. I get excited every time we get one because the girls just love the little toys inside. They love playing with it. What's the, what color is the bug? Can you tell me any colors? What's the, oh, she's too busy playing. What color is that? Can you tell me what color is that? Play what? Yellow. Yellow. Blue. Blue. I think that's, is that pink or orange? It's like fluorescent. Red. We're going to call that, you want to call it red? Okay, I guess we'll call it red. What's this? Carly, what, what, what color is this? What color is that? Pink. Purple. Red. Purple. Red. What's this? Red. Orange. Red. She's still trying to get colors down. Red. She can count to like 10. Red. But colors for some reason, why'd you throw that like that? For some reason, colors are just, they're hard. Uh, me and the girls' therapist were talking yesterday about how polar opposite personalities Carly and Kenley is. Carly is very energetic, very dominant, very um, impulsive. She likes to break and rip things just kind of mindlessly. She's not, I don't think she's trying to be mean. It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of how she is. She likes to break and destroy and do you see my wall back there yeah that's all carly so she's very like very impulsive and all over the place very energetic and wild kinley is the exact total opposite baby's crying i'm sorry kinley's the exact opposite very laid back go with the flow down to earth she follows her wherever she goes so whatever trouble carly gets into kinley gets into but Kenley doesn't actually mean to get in trouble. 
she's just following Dick's sister over here, wanting to play, and she happens to get in trouble. But if I have Kinley by herself, she almost never gets into trouble. She might because she gets, you know, curious or something, but she she does not get in trouble that much. She doesn't really break anything. Not She's nothing like Miss Carly over here. Is the baby sitting? What's it? That's bad. Yeah, the baby's signing bad. That's how that sign goes. That sign goes like this. Bad. Huh? Bad. Bad, bad. So it's about almost 4 o'clock. It's about 10 till. I'm making Andy a bottle. She's been sleeping a lot lately. Sorry. Kinley's been yelling at me for like the past 10 minutes. Anyway, um, she's been sleeping a lot lately. So I'm going to have to like start waking her up to eat. It's been almost four hours since she's eaten last. It's time to wake her up. But really fast. This won't take long. <laughs> really fast. I hit... Oh my gosh. What, honey? What's wrong? You keep screaming. What's wrong? Your juice is right there. She lost her juice. Anyway... I've hit a weight loss milestone. I've lost 10 pounds. Not, I don't think it's overall because I didn't actually start weighing myself because my scale didn't have batteries in it until I was 178. So I think I've lost more than 10 pounds, probably like 15. I was definitely in the 180s before I started exercising and, you know, trying to eat better and stuff. So I'm, um, I'm just going to count from where I actually know or knew how much I weighed. And that was 178. I'm now 168. And I just wanted to do a very quick update because I have a before picture, which I will put right here. And I will show you guys what I look like now. I have a shirt on, so it's going to look slightly different. But, I mean, you'll still understand. And I have no problems showing my mom body. I've had three children. Like, well, technically four. So, I mean, am I a Victoria's Secret model? No. But I think I'm in the way of the picture. Oh, my leg is up. <laughs> I have one leg up. So this is me from the front now. And from the side. From the back. And that's what I look like now. I have a very squishy belly still. I mean, with like no belly button at all. My belly will always be squishy. That's that's okay. The price you pay for having children. It's the price you pay. But I'm going to feed Andy now because the poor girl needs to eat. Good morning. Did you finally wake up? That took you a while. Did you sleep good, tiniest girl? You did! Oh, look at that smile. That is a sign of a good sleep, Mommy. A very good sleep, yes. Oh, those smiles. I love them. She's been smiling so much lately. Oh, I love it. Yes, I do. I love all those pretty smiles. Oh, so sweet. Let's get you changed and get you fed, little girl. Yeah, you hungry? The bed is very empty, Mommy. It's very, very empty. Time to fill it up with yummy milks. A little bit of bad news. Um, I think our breastfeeding journey is about to change. Because here lately, the past week or two... She's really been fighting me on the breast. Like, I latch her, and she fights. And she pushes on me like this. She pulls her head back. Her body gets very stiff. And she cries, and she cries some more. And I think she's just so used to the bottle and how fast the milk comes out of that that she doesn't want to work for the milk that comes out of, you know, these instead. So, uh... I think I'm going to have to be a pumping mama. Because she's still getting breast milk. Um, one way or another, the girl's getting it. So, <laughs> if she doesn't want to, you know, latch on and get it that way, then I'm going to pump for her. I did it last night.
because one, I was engorged like holy mother, and two, she fought me. And it was late at night, and I needed to get the girl to sleep. So, I'm really kind of sad because it's just, yeah, yeah, they're getting the breast milk. Yeah, it's, you know, still good for them and everything, but it's just different. It's just, you're not putting them to breast anymore, and it's just a different relationship, breastfeeding-wise. And I'm a little bit sad. I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit sad and disappointed in myself, I guess, because I just wish so bad that my kids could be exclusively breastfed. I wish that was an option for uh, for me and for them, but they just don't grow very well. And I have Kinley as evidence. They just don't grow. I'm going to try really hard not to <laughs> let my stupid hormones make me cry. <laughs> this is a really, really stupid thing to cry about, but uh, I just... I don't know. I am sad, though, that it's all coming to an end. At least that part. I will pump. But pumping's so much harder. Anyway, that's my spiel for right now. Look at my beautiful kid. Isn't she beautiful? Beautiful. Can I make dinner for everybody else now, princess? Because it's dinner time. Oh, she's going to fuss. She says no. Nope, I'm still first. We'll see how this goes. I did it, you guys. My first time ever making pho, much less making it vegan. I did um, green onions over here. Uh, the carrots I kept crunchy to add some texture. Cilantro. I haven't put my sriracha or my soy sauce on yet. Pan fried some bok choy with some um, shiitake mushrooms. And that's the broth. Well, the noodles I put off the heat. <laughs> so, I also... Um, put some limes in here. I was told to, that's a good idea. And I was like, sure, I'll try it. But mostly I got this recipe like out of my head because I read several recipes and I just kind of threw in what I thought sounded good. Yeah. So my first time ever making this, if it's really good and I like it, it's going on my cooking channel. But right now it's time for the taste test. All right. I don't have chopsticks because I forgot to get them at the store. I was really rushed, and I was like, oh, crap. But I have a fork, so here it goes. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Mmm. Wow. 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 The complexity of all those flavors. Wow. Yeah. Really good. <laughs> we don't get a whole lot of, like, culture diversity here in West Virginia. <laughs> we just don't. Like, um, we're predominantly white. And, I mean, it's kind of stinks because you don't get a whole lot of culture and different foods from different places. And so you have to do it on your own, like I am. <laughs> but I want my kids to eat different food from different, you know, cultures and places. Because, I don't know, I just think it's really neat. And I didn't grow up that way. And, uh... When I did grow up and become an adult, I was like, oh my gosh, look at all the different food there is in the world. So, I don't know. It's just a, my way to inject a little bit of culture is to feed them different food from different places. And this is really good. So, this might become a regular thing here in the whole house. Daddy. What? Who did you see? Daddy. You saw Daddy outside in the back porch? Daddy. You did? You saw Daddy? Are you sure? Daddy, Daddy! Is he back out there? No, he's not. Did you see him? Uh oh, I hear a door opening. I hear a door opening. Look who's home! They saw you in the backyard and lost their minds. Oh, Sorry. <laughs> they were screaming, Daddy, I Daddy! 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 Yeah, I don't exist anymore. Daddy. <laughs> Mommy, you need Daddy. I know, I see Daddy. Daddy! He needs chicken. He needs chicken? <laughs> 
Sorry, I don't cook that. <laughs> I just want to see how you like it. Because I really liked it. <laughs> I knew that was going to be enough. Well, you were telling me it's going to be hot. Well, to me it's hot. So it's my level of hotness, not what you think is hot. It's not bad. What do you think about the broth? You like it? It's not bad. You like it? Mm -hmm. good. Oh, good. Because that broth I've been working on for like six hours. Nice. So it better be good. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I might make it more often. We've patched those holes. Those three up there. We've patched those. We've patched the ones up here. And there were a couple more, weren't there, babe? Down the sides of the front window. Right there, there was some on this wall. And you said there's some on the front window? The sides of the front window. The sides of the front window? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's some there. And behind me on that wall. And behind me on this wall? Oh, I can see it. Okay. So we have the place all cleaned out. All the furniture is gone. And this is exactly how it looks before we start painting. It's all empty. This is exactly how it looked. And now we're going to get started. And this is what it looks like after one coat of paint. We're going to do a second coat tomorrow, and it'll look not as patchy. I'm sure you can see that. It'll look so much better with the second coat, and it'll also look better with sunlight. It's going to, you know, darken here. Well, sort of. Anyway, this is what it looks like. This is the after. Um, if you guys want to follow me on social media, my links are down below. And I guess I will just see you guys tomorrow in a new vlog. Bye, guys.